So I just want to go over with you right quick on how I block my squares. This is how I do it. I am doing a year of Granny Squares collab and I've been wanting to block my square so they'll be the same size. The first two I've already blocked. So this one I have not, even though it is close to the same size as my first two squares, um, it's a little crooked on the edges. So I just wanted to show you right quick, would be a great time to show you how I block my granny squares. This is a blocking mat that I got from, it was a set I think I ordered from Amazon. I also have these Knitter Prides knit blocker pins and I really like them because they allow me to really stretch out my square or whatever garment I want to block and I'm able to kind of get a smooth straight edge. I do not have a water bottle today so I do have my Febreze. Also I have little indents from my previous blocks. So I will probably end up following this grid right here. Let me put this on here just to see. Um, yeah. So it looks like that's the grid I'm going to follow here, 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 and here. I'm just kind of blocking it off. Let me see, which one is the right side? Which one's the wrong side? I believe this is the right side. So I'm gonna start um, at either corner, kind of center it, and then I'm gonna grab the corner of my square and just tack it down. Stretch it and just tack it down a little bit. I'm gonna make sure it's on that line don't want to go over too much. Then I'm going to grab one of the longer pieces and tack it down on that grid. And turn it around. And then I'm going to continue to follow this grid. I'm going to stretch it out some. I'm going to tack it down. And then I'm going to follow this grid follow this grid along so I can get a straight even tack and then I'm going to tack it down and then I'm going to grab a couple of my longer calm light pins and I'm going to do the center just like that and now I need to get these stretched out where I'll have a, a straight line somewhat of a straight line I'm gonna grab a couple more cones. I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and just stick that in there. It's so nice sticking them in. It's, it slides in fairly easy. Not get my finger in the way. All right, and then I got this little line here. I wanna stretch it out enough to make sure my sides fit that line and that grid will be, there we go. So now it's lined up along those grids somewhat. May need to tack some of these little pieces down. I think it'd be okay. I think we'll move this over a little bit, just a little bit, and then I'll tack that down. This was really a very, it was almost the same size of my other ones. It just wasn't even all the way around. Then I'm gonna take my, it's just for breeze. I don't have a water bottle and I'm just gonna miss it. And then I think I'm gonna go take it outside. So come along. Oh, the sun is out. Okay, so now I've brought my square in. Good thing too, because I hear it starting to thunder. Feels dry. I'm pretty sure it's had time to dry out. 
in between the sun and the air outside. It doesn't feel damp at all. So now I'm going to remove these pins. And there we go. It has been blocked to the same size as my other two squares. This one looks like it needs to be stretched back out a little bit, but yeah. So that's how I block my granny squares. I hope this has been helpful and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.